So hello, hello and welcome to Gumada Coins and Banknotes and today we're going to review this one pound coin from the United Kingdom. So this coin is the fourth bridge which you can look up the actual bridge on the internet but basically it just looks like a suspension span bridge. Pretty unique in design in which it has three spans, so you've got one, two, three. And also you have this main structure here, which looks a bit 1800s. So, that is because it was built in 1882, and it is a cantilever railway bridge uh, going across the Firth or Forth in Scotland. So that's a bit of a mouthful, a bit confusing uh, for me. We don't have that type of uh, places in Firth or Forth. What the hell does that mean? Anyway, that probably goes back to Old Anglo-Saxon or Old English, as a lot of people like to call it. So, we're just not talking about the actual bridge itself. You can probably go on YouTube and find other videos on that. We're talking about the coin. So, the actual specifications of this coin are pretty typical for the nickel brass coin, which this coin is. And these were replaced in 2016 with a, a new coin. So in 2017, they were demonetized. So you can't use this in circulation. This is a bit sad. UK demonetizes their coins and banknotes. Australia, Canada, United States don't. Um, but this is a 9.5 gram coin, 22.5 millimeters. And the thickness is actually 3.15. So if we compare it with a... Uh, New Zealand 10 cent coin, which is the same as the Australian coin, you can see the thickness there. So, the back side of the coin has the bridge. So, this is the back. On the front of the coin is always the effigy, and this is the N rank broadly effigy used in the United Kingdom till 2008. Yeah, I believe so. And it was replaced with uh, the previous portrait so of the UK coins. We won't go into that. Uh, as you can see the reading, it has a pattern on the side. There is no lettering like a lot of the other coins. Uh, now in this condition, they sell for about 10 to $20 or 5 to 10 pounds. Uh, the mintage is 39 million. And this side was designed by Edwina Alice, which was a designer, I believe was a designer in the UK, but she probably would design a lot of different coins. So apart from the 39 million issue for circulation, there's uh, the uncirculated coin sets, which is 123,000. So if you want an uncirculated one, just buy an uncirculated coin set. And also you got 35,000 proof, which is a lot lower than what they issued in the 80s, which they generally had 100,000. But still, it's quite a lot of coin. But as a population of the UK is 60 million. I think it's about 65 million now. Uh, there should be a lot more coin collectors than there were in the 1980s. As well as the pandemics actually brought a lot of people into the actual coin collecting. But a lot of those are just wanting pump and dump to make extra profit. That's why coins have actually gone up quite a lot, especially ancient coins. Uh, common coins, you're yeah, not really. But you get a lot of people from third world countries trying to dump off their uh, poor their coins that are in common circulation. So... Basically, that's all the information that you need to know about this coin. Uh, except they did issue other types of metals. So they issued two silver, one in proof, one in Pedford, and also gold proof. And in 2008, they issued, this is a selective plated coin to commemorate the 28 years of the pound. So they would have issued that with... Uh, other one pound coins as well, probably all the previous issues. And 
if you have this coin please leave a comment down below let me know what you think about the actual bridge itself because i'm going to have a look at it now thank you and goodbye